and welcome back to another Sims 3 tutorial fix or workaround, however it is you would like to think of it. And as you would have seen in the intro of this video that we're going to talk about stacking staircases. So the house I'm going to use for this example is one of the houses that I have previously built. This one is called Pretty in Pink and I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below if you would like to download this house. Um, it is up for download and don't worry this glitch is not in this house. Um, I almost never have this problem anymore since I have learned a workaround for it uh, and it'll work just fine for you. But I did have to change it a little bit in order to get the glitch to happen. So let's just go ahead and go into the house here. So right here we have the stacked staircase. So if you already have this house or you've seen the video on it, you may or may not notice that I have this a little bit different and that's because the staircases are right on top of each other. So a lot of times in real houses that you see, that is going to be the way they are going to be is right on top of each other and a lot of people go ahead and do that and the staircases will let you do it. Like it's not going to yell at you and tell you that you just messed something up because in the game, the game thinks you just did everything fine but we have a little bit of a problem. So this problem is, is when the sim goes down them, they can go down them just fine, not a problem. So I'll go ahead and bring our uh, sim up here. So we're gonna go ahead and teleport her up and we're gonna have her use these stairs. So in order for me to get her to use, I, I've noticed for some reason in order for me to get her to use these stairs, I have to come down to this level. So we're gonna go ahead and click use stairs I'm not sure what I click. I have two options there. That's weird. As you can see, she can go down them just fine without any problems whatsoever. It's coming back up. So we're going to go ahead and tell her to use these stairs again. And you're going to see the most annoying glitch ever. And it will actually trap your Sims down there. They won't be able to get back out. And if you have one of these houses in your town somewhere and you have uh, story progression on and the sims are doing their own thing they will literally get stuck and it'll cause your game to lag uh, the sims could actually potentially die down in their basement or wherever they are because they can't get out they can't get food uh, and unless they get reset they're not going to be able to continue about their day and take care of themselves so this can cause a large problem with your world. Like I said, it can cause lagging. It can cause a lot of problems. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what we can do to fix this. Basically, it won't really change too much the way your house looks or the way you want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and have her go back up these stairs and you're going to see what she does. And some of you may already know what's going to happen. She's going to come up these stairs. She's going to turn around and she's going to go back down. Then what literally happens is they get stuck down here. As you can see, this interaction is not going away. She is literally stuck here doing absolutely nothing. Like she can't move, she's stuck. I even gave her other things to do and she can't do any of it because of this interaction. And she's gonna literally stand there forever, lagging your game. She's going to end up getting hungry, tired. She's going to die from starvation. And the only way you can get her out of there is by resetting her. So we're going to go ahead and reset the sim. That way she can no longer be stuck. And I have, of course, Enroz go here along with other things from Enroz. So I'm going to get all these errors that's going to pop up here, you guys, just so you know. Um, letting me know that we just had a problem. So what we're going to do to fix this is you can still have your stacked staircases. But you need to have your staircase one tile different from the upper staircase. So I'm going to go ahead and go into build by, uh, by mode here. I'm going to go ahead and put the grid on. And what I mean by going one more staircase different is we can't go back. So the lower part of the stairs is over here on the left and then it goes up to the right. You cannot put the staircase more to the left because that puts the main staircase in a lower portion of the upper steps. And the sims just can't go down. There's not enough headroom. They're not going to let you put the stairs there either because that makes this staircase to be in the way. So you have to move the lower staircase one tile to the right or left, whichever direction it is based on the stairs here. 
and then they'll work just fine. Now this is a pre-built house. It's already furnished. We can still do this, but we have to move some stuff out of the way. Otherwise the stairs are always going to say there is something in the way. So we're just going to get this window out of here. We're going to move this out of here. Now I do have move objects on. So that's why I can just kind of place things wherever I want. So we're going to go ahead and come back down in here. Now I'm not really too sure what's all going to be in the way. But as you can see I already have this space here. That's because this is not actually the way I designed the house. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that staircase already. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this tile. So there we go. Um, that's where it originally was. If you were to download this house, this is where the stairs are originally going to be. So we're just going to go ahead and copy these stairs. We'll see if there's anything blocking it. Okay, it looks like it's blocked on that one side. You can see how it's green and then it's red over here. That tells me that there's something on this side causing it to be blocked. Sometimes I hate trying to figure out what it could be. You literally have to go around and just start moving stuff. So we'll go ahead until we can finally get it to go. So there we go. Now I don't know if that couch really was the problem. No, it wasn't. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in. We can go ahead and put our window back. Uh, let's come back down here. Did I have anything else moved? Uh, this rug was actually moved before just so I could have them stairs. Uh, oh, in the light. So we're going to go ahead and put the light back. I think that was everything that was moved. So we're going to go ahead and go back into live mode here or live mode, however it is you say it. And now we're going to be able to use these stairs and she's going to be just fine. And that's because as you can see, we have offset it by one tile. So we're, there she goes, up the stairs she went. And as you can see, she did not turn around. She did not go back down the stairs. She is able to use these stairs freely with no problems whatsoever. She can go down them. She can go back up them. And there'll be no problems whatsoever for you. So that's all you need to do to fix the stairs. You can still have stackable stairs. Just remember to have one, just one tile uh, to the side or farther out. And you can set this up however you like. I tend to enclose my basement stairs, but you can leave them open. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure you have that one tile difference and your stackable stairs will work just fine for you. So let me know down in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any other suggestions on tutorials you'd like me to do, go ahead and leave those also down below. Anything that I could help you with. Um, also, as you can see, I've been doing some video shorts here recently. Uh, let me know if you like these shorts for upcoming videos and I will continue to create them. And if you have any other video suggestions or anything else that you'd like to see on this channel, go ahead and leave them in the comments as well. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.